we must have a dialogue with Russia. There are many issues we need to discuss with Russia, not least the situation in Syria. But there was a very strong consensus um, that we need to have that dialogue from a position of unity and strength over the issue of uh, Ukraine. Um, because let's be clear about what happened here is you know, boundaries are being redrawn in Europe by force, by one power, and uh, Europe and NATO must stand strong against that. Um, so of course we want to have a dialogue. There are many things I have myself discussions with uh, Putin, but I've been very struck actually by the unity of purpose here. And I think that's one of the strengths of NATO, bringing America and Canada together with European powers to discuss these issues. Um, and so I've been, been very struck by that. Uh, and obviously we've got a meeting later this afternoon about how we should help uh, Ukraine in, in uh, her hour of, of need, and Britain's been playing a big part in that. But no, I'm not worried that um, we'll be able to keep a strong and unified European position. Obviously Britain, as we leave the European Union, we won't be around that table uh, at the same time, but Europe, Britain will have to become uh, one of the European Union's most important partners. Today we're in the European Union, and as we are, we're the second biggest economy, we're one of the major net contributors, we're the largest military power, we've got the best network of diplomatic uh, embassies and consulates around the world. So we're a major power inside the European Union, in future we'll be a major power outside the European Union, and a partner of the European Union in discussing these security and international challenges. My view is that the aim of our country should be to be as close as possible to the European Union when it comes to security, when it comes to diplomacy, when it comes to cooperation, when it comes to trade. In all those areas, we should seek a close relationship.